Hey guys, today we're going to check out a delay pedal that's under $60. So the guys at Coco Pedals, and I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right, it's K-O-K-K-O, -K -K -O, like Coco. I figure it's take the K's instead of the C's. Pedals contacted me and said, hey, we like your channel. Would you be willing to check out one of our delay pedals? was $60 and I go, man, how good could a delay pedal be at 60 bucks? And the curiosity just grabbed me. I go, I gotta know. I gotta know if it's any good. So they sent it and it's uh, really good. And let's talk about why, because it's not just because it's cheap. In fact, um, I think it's, it would be legitimate at $100. So let's talk about why I think that. First off, let's do some sound samples. But the first thing I want to show you before we get into sound samples is some of the quality in what, I, what I'm looking for when I'm looking at pedals. One of the things that I knew right off the bat when you make a pedal cheap, there's certain things that are going to happen, like the relays get really noisy. In other words, the switch coming on and off. So I want to show you that. Here's the pedal off. Here is the distortion. And it's running through the effects loop of the Friedman amp. Let's, I'm going to turn it on and off with the cord so you can hear how quiet and non-intrusive it is to your sound. Now the only thing you're hearing that hiccup is the delay. See? Now the tone change is very minimal. To almost non-existent. So think about this, it has almost virtually no effect on your overall tone and it has no interruption in the sound and that already makes it a quality sounding pedal. So let's go back to clean and let me show you an easy couple easy sounds. First is a rockabilly sound. This is a slapback sound and I'm getting that by keeping the time and the feedback slow and the mix a little higher than I normally would. And you get that slap. Back. So let's go, uh, let's go to a traditional sound that I would actually use. Uh, I keep my time and the feedback knob. This is a sweet spot for me. And I've kind of figured out to make it that shape. And I kind of like that. Right? And I like that because I can use it on lead tone for the distortion. talk about the quality. So there's a couple things that are worth noting. First off, really impressive is that it's die cast box. It's a metal box and it's a metal bottom and they actually put rubber feet on it, which I thought was cool. But the thing that I really pay attention to is this. The power input is encapsulated in the actual metal box, which means when I push on this, I can't get it to short and I can't feel it move on the board. The switch feels really good. In fact, I like it because it doesn't click, right? It's just Right, it's just instant on and off and it sounds really good and it has almost no hiccup in the sound and no relay sound. The other thing that's uh, really cool is the light is really bright. Now, let's talk about some of the things I'm concerned about. The knobs are mounted directly to the PC board and there is no kind of lock washers around them or anything to hold them onto the metal casing. The shafts are plastic, which means what's gonna happen is if you kick this with your foot, you will break this off. My guess though, the good thing is that when you break one of the knobs off, the pedal will probably work fine because it won't snap the board. What will happen is you'll just be stuck in whatever position the knob is in, which means you'll be able to get through the gig. Um, the trick on that is simple, don't kick the knobs, <laughs> right? <laughs> Very clean and precise delay. The repeats are clear. I don't know if they were going for an analog vibe or digital. It doesn't really say on the box. Um, I have the box. It's just a brown box. So it doesn't say much. No instructions. Very cool delay. What can you say about a $60 delay other than it's really good and at the price it's hard to beat. So um, I'm not really big on the orange look, but I'm gonna actually let my daughter paint it or I might take a Sharpie to it, uh, some colored Sharpies and decorate it in a little bit. And if I do that, I'll post it on the Know Your Gear Facebook.
I'm going to check out some more of their pedals, so I hope you check out those videos as well. And then um, I'd also like to point out, they asked me to tell you that, uh, to put a link down below, so I did. The link is to buy the pedal. <laughs> As always, guys, I want to thank you for your time and know your gear.